find the coordinate of P uh, find the coordinate of P where P belongs to AB and AP is to PB is 2 is to 1 and the coordinate of A is minus 6 1 P is 6 minus 5 so let's draw a sketch of this quickly so let's say this is the y axis this is the x axis so let's say this is minus 6 1 so this point is A which is minus 6 comma 1 and let's say this is 6 comma uh, minus 5 so 6 comma minus 5 is P so what they're saying is so this is the line segment and P is somewhere in between uh, not exactly between it's closer to B so how do I know so P is somewhere here and I let's say the coordinate of P is X comma Y so what they're saying is the length of AP this length AP this this basically means that AP is twice PB AP is twice PB or the length of AP is double this is 2 and this is 1 that's what it means so so we, if this is M this length from P to B Sorry, if this is 2m, if this is 2m, this will be m. So let's rewrite that. So we are saying if a, uh, okay, so let me go back. So we are saying if pb, if pb is m, I can say ap is equal to 2m. Okay, so now we know the distance from a to b is AP so I can say well AB is AP plus PB so that so we can say a, AB is 3 AM 3 M sorry so AB is 3 M so let's take a ratio of AP on AB well AP is 2 M and P, AB is 3 M so this is going to be 2 on 3 so in other words I can say AP is 2 third of AB okay so how does this help me so let's first find AP using the distance formula so we can say well uh, so we are finding the distance from A to B first a to B A to B so well using the distance formula AB is going to be the square root of using the distance formula minus 6 minus 12 minus 6 minus 6 is minus 12 the whole square is 144 and uh, the distance from 1 to minus 5 if you look at the y coordinates uh, 1 minus minus 5 is 1 plus 5 which is 6 so this is 36 so AB is square root of 180 and square root of 80 180 is square root of 36 times square root of 5 so which is 6 root 5 okay so now we can say well so what is AP AP is going to be 2 on 3 times AB. I'm going to use this result. 6 root 5. So 3 goes in 6 2 times. So AP is uh, 2, uh, no it's 4, is 4 root 5. AP is 4 root 5. So we'll use this result later on. What's the next thing that we know? We can talk about the gradient okay so what can we say the gradient of AP the gradient of AP is the same as the gradient of AB okay so what's the gradient of AP so if you use the gradient of AP I can say I will so so that is X X minus minus 6 
okay sorry I had to go the rise first I had to take the y value so if you do the rise so it's y minus 1 or x minus minus 6 which is x plus 6 and the gradient of a b again you take the rise minus phi minus 1 is minus 6 and 6 minus minus 6 is 6 plus 6 which is 12 so which is going to be half minus half sorry so now let's simplify so if you cross multiply so let me rewrite y minus 1 on x plus 6 is equal to minus half okay so let's ex so let's cross multiply so I can say 2 times y minus 1 is equal to minus 1 times x plus 6 okay so you, I want to make x the subject so you can divide both sides by minus 1 okay or let's expand this so this is 2y minus 1 is equal to minus x minus 6 so let's multiply the whole thing by minus 1 so okay, it's 2y minus 2 be very careful so if you okay or let's move this minus 6 to this side so uh, 2y minus 2 plus 6 is equal to minus x so minus x is 2y plus 4 but we want to make x the subject so x is equal to minus 2y minus 4 okay so we're going to use these two results this result and this result to find uh, what's the value of x and y okay continuing so I'm going to use these two results to figure out what is x so how can I write uh, I can use the distance formula to figure out what is x and y so using the distance formula I can say AP is going to be square root of uh, x minus minus 6 which is x plus 6 the whole squared plus y minus 1 the whole squared so this is the distance formula and I know that is going to be 4 root 5 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to square both sides so if I square both sides this is x plus 6 the whole squared plus y minus 1 the whole squared and this is 16 times 5 which is 80 okay so now in place of x I can substitute minus 2y minus 4 so this next step let me use a different color so this will become minus 2y minus 4 plus 6 the whole squared plus y minus 1 the whole squared is equal to 80 so this is minus 2y plus 2 the whole squared plus y minus 1 the whole squared is equal to 80. So I can factor the uh, minus 2 out. If I factor the minus 2 out, you have y minus 1 the whole squared plus y minus 1 the whole squared is equal to 80. So now this is minus 2 squared, which is 4 times y minus 1 the whole squared plus y minus 1 the whole squared is equal to 80. So this is 4 lots of y minus 1 plus 1 lot of y minus 1, which is same as 5 lots of y minus 1 the whole squared is equal to 80. So I can divide both sides by phi. So this is y minus 1 the whole squared is equal to 16. So I can say y minus 1 is equal to square root of 16 which is plus or minus 4. Okay, so let us finish this off. So I can say y minus 1 is plus 4 or y minus 1 is equal to minus 4. So 
So this means if I solve for y, y will be phi, y will be phi, and here y would be minus 3. Now which of them is acceptable or which can't we accept? If you look at the coordinates, you can see the y coordinate should be between 1 and, I can say, look at this and use my logic, I can say y coordinate should be between uh, 1 or minus pi and 1. Minus 5 and 1. Because it is a point on line segment AB. But the first answer, y, uh, so now we can say use this and say that y cannot be phi. y cannot be phi. Therefore, y is equal to y is equal to minus three. Okay. Now this will help us to find what is x. We we already defined x as uh, minus where is x? X is minus two y minus four. Two y minus four, which is minus two times minus three is six minus four, which is two. So point P has a coordinate of 2 comma minus 3. Okay, so I'll pause this video and then I'll show you how you can confirm whether your answer is right. So we can use the CAS calculator to confirm. The only thing we have to confirm is we have to use the, we want to confirm whether AP is 4 root 5. Okay, so this is my CAS calculator. So we, I hope you have got the coordinates. I remember the coordinates. So uh, let's define. So you, you want to find the distance of A to B. So this is shift uh, square root. So the coordinate of A was uh, minus 6 uh, minus 6 the whole squared plus uh, what was the y coordinate y was 1 minus minus phi squared and present here so this is 6 root phi okay and the coordinate of p was uh, let's check that the coordinate of p was 2 comma minus 3 okay so so let's go, so shift, uh, so uh, it was 6, so I can go 6 uh, minus 2 squared plus the y coordinate was, no, so this is minus 6, isn't it? So yeah, this is, the coordinate of A is minus 6, minus 2 the whole squared plus uh, 1 minus minus 3 squared. Let's see. That should be present here, which is 4 root 5. Okay, so AP is 4 root 5, and that's what we have confirmed. So AB was, AB was 6 root 5, and AB is 4 root 5. 